Hi, everyone. Tony from Quick Tech Solutions here. Just keeping the conversation going, I'd like to update you on the Synology hard drive situation. I just received an email moments ago from my contact over at Synology with an official statement. Now, earlier today, Willie Howe released an official statement from his Synology contact. Mine is a little bit more of a summary than Willie's. His went into a little bit more detail. So I'm going to go over mine with you, but if you want to hear more about it in more detail, check out Willie's video. I'll link to Willie's video up above as well as down in the video description. So let me switch over to the other screen and I want to read to you the summary I received from my contact. So it says, hi, Tony, sure thing. Here is our updated official drive statement. Starting with the 25 series, DSM will implement a new HDD compatibility policy in accordance with Synology's published product compatibility list. Only listed HDDs are supported for new system installations. This decision reflects Synology's long-term product strategy development aimed to enhance overall user experience and system dependability. Extensive internal testing has shown that models that adopted the new hard drive compatibility policy experience a decrease of storage anomalies by up to 88%. Additionally, Synology will be introducing a carefully curated drive compatibility framework for those wanting to integrate third-party drives into their Synology systems. This program will allow third-party hard drive third-party drive manufacturers to certify their products using the more stringent and rigorous standards that Synology is currently using to test first-party drives. It is important to note that existing Synology products released prior to the 25 series will continue to support third-party drives in accordance with current compatibility guidelines, and this change does not affect the J and Value series models. Users will also be able to migrate older drives from previous Synology models into the new 25 models, ensuring that their data is still accessible and protected. However, it is recommended that they upgrade their drives to the latest compatible HDDs to ensure full functionality of DSM. So there you have it, folks. There is an official statement. Like I said, this is more of a summary. Willie's statement went into a little bit more detail. So again, the video will be linked down below as well as earlier up above in this video. Also want to mention, too, that to date, I have not seen the 925 Plus released on the U.S. Synology website. From what I understand, Space Rex did a video a little while ago saying that it has been released in other countries, but it has yet to be released on the U.S. site. I have been checking. I checked yesterday. I checked today, and I'm going to continue to check. And as soon as it's released on the actual U.S. version of the Synology website, I will bring that news to you as well. So again, once again, that's what's going on in the world of Synology hard drive updates. I hope you enjoyed this little update. And again, don't forget to check out Willie's video. Take care.